Yeah, been trying Clubhouse recently and uh, going to share uh, some my analysis of uh, Clubhouse strategy. So Clubhouse is an audio uh, meetup app. That's why I will call it it's an audio meetup, online meetups. And it's a little strange be for me because usually they kind of platform uh, which everyone can create their own room, their own room, their own room, then other people can join. But the weird thing is all the rooms that I, that I saw so far are super big rooms. Uh, for example, uh, most of rooms that have over 1,000 participants, um, that's insane number. And I only always see just of like around 10 or 20 rooms. And I couldn't find those uh, with fewer people, with like 10 people, 5 people. I couldn't see them at all. Why? That's a very, very weird. I think this is definitely related to how uh, Clubhouse strategy actually is. He actually wants to be a more like a streaming platform instead of the meetup meetup platform. The streaming platform is usually a few of uh, top streamers. Top streamers they will occupy ninety percent of the traffic. And Clubhouse now is also definitely like this. Those top maybe one percent rooms, uh, top one percent rooms uh, all have all have over one thousand participants. And uh, those speakers in the room are all famous celebrities, YouTubers, big YouTubers. They already famous outside Clubhouse, so they bring their uh, traffic, their audience into Clubhouse. So Clubhouse apparently want to make a uh, like streaming platform only, and only want to show those top streamers, top or live podcasts live podcasting platform. They only want to show those top podcast hosters. Yeah, I definitely find it weird. Because I This is kind of strategy is uh, a little bit new to me because if you see YouTube, YouTube is a platform that everyone can create videos. And definitely it has certain winner takes all uh, uh, attribute, but you still can see very small YouTubers uh, videos, especially if you subscribe then or you search for some results. But in Clubhouse, I keep scrolling. I want to what, try to find a smaller rooms. Um, I couldn't find them. And I also tried to create my own one. No one joins. And the reason is simple. Um, the room I created will never be shown. Will never be shown in front of other people. So uh, that's the thing. They don't want you to create the Clubhouse as an audio chat room. and. If people can easily find other people's zooms, uh, zooms easily, then there will be a chat rooms, audio chat rooms, and that's what they don't want it to become. Um, this is an interesting strategy, and so far I see is uh, Clubhouse has a really variety of users, not only in the U.S., uh, also in uh, Japan and other languages, a lot of others. Um, also, a lot of people use that in Chinese as well. So um, you really have the variety of reach of the people. And uh, so far, the, thing I, the reason I f want to find smaller rooms is because I want to chat. I want to be able to speak in the room um, instead of just passive listening. Now, most people just passive listening, passive listening. I don't see that what's the difference between podcast and the clubhouse. Because it's, it's, if it's really a social media, you should be able to talk. You should be able to interact with people. And the only chance that the the no the normal average audience can 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 interact with speakers is to uh, raise raise their hand and uh, uh, ask questions. But that's just a very small portion of time. I would say in in one section, one session, maybe one hour. There's only five five minutes for questions, and not to mention that you only can ask a question once, and that will not be longer than thirty seconds. So you only interact with a speaker's maybe say thirty seconds, and max maximum in one hour. Is that what you want? Is that you call it social media? 
And the, like my previous points, if you just want to do the passive listening, why don't we just listen to podcasts? Podcasts is like more well prepared, and Clubhouse is more like a chit chat, like celebrity doing the uh, uh, spontaneous talk. It's not really like a podcast, YouTube videos, those uh, high quality. They need to spend a day or two or a week to just make five, ten minutes episodes. So definitely in terms of the density of uh, information, that's a huge difference between Clubhouse. But I thought, I previously, previously, previously thought Clubhouse advantage is because you can interact with uh, people. But it's simply not the case. You can definitely follow those uh, celebs, uh, those famous speakers, but you won't be able to talk to them in the Zoom. In the room, so that's my, uh, my, 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 my doubt to their strategy. Um, but at least now, now since it's really working, it's really working. You can see a lot of uh, uh, Zoom room that really have a very very big audience. But anyway, I will keep using that and uh, just uh, share with you some of my results, some of my findings here. So if you would like to receive more technology products analysis like this, don't forget to subscribe. Your subscription is my greatest encouragement to make more videos like this. And uh, other than that, enjoy your coffee until next time.